a cancer diagnosis can be a scary and a lonely time. But one Suncoast man is doing his part to make sure that nobody fights the disease alone. Sarasota native Tony McEachran is here to tell us about Team Tony Cancer Foundation. Welcome, Tony. Thank You've been you. doing this a long time. long time. I am so proud of you. Tell me about your foundation now. Well, uh, my foundation, I was diagnosed in 2003, mm -hmm. and for me, you always have your friends and family around, mm -hmm. doctors to support you. What was missing is somebody like me. Mm -hmm. It would have been nice to have someone there who had gone through what I was about to, mm -hmm. uh -huh. to offer a little bit of insight and inspiration. Makes sense. You know? Very good. So tell us about your journey with cancer now. My what agent. year were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed. Next year is going to be 15 years. Oh. Great. I fell off my bike in April of 2003. And the hospital, went to the hospital, and the tumor was the size of my fist. <gasps> oh my and you had no idea up before the accident, no the fall? Idea. Oh, no idea. No wow. headaches, no nothing. It oh, my just... goodness. So, so it was in your head? Yeah. Wow. Hence oh, my goodness. The really bad hair. Well, <laughs> I, re I remember this because my little brother was starting his cycling career, and Tony was um, a huge support of him and um, and I remember it being I, I mean I was in college but I uh, right. it's uh, been a long time and the, the whole process and watching you build Team Tony has been pretty incredible. Yeah. So Team Tony uh, pairs a person who is going through the cancer journey right now with somebody like you who, who has survived it? Yes. So cancer survivors with cancer fighters like diagnosis, mm -hmm. age, as many similarities as we can find between mm -hmm. the two, as well as cancer caregivers and caregivers. Oh. And so it's not just survivor, you know, divider, uh -huh. it's caregivers. Why is this so important? You know what, it's nobody really understands unless you've been in it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's too difficult by yourself. And I've always said it was harder on my wife than me, uh -huh. and so it would have been nice for her to have some support as well. Right. But it's just those words, you know, you have cancer, it's you don't know what to do. Yeah. It's you don't know what the next step is, and I guess seeing a survivor is the yes. main thing. Mm -hmm. You see that living goal up there. Right. I think right now I'm working with uh, seven different people. And, you know, it's not, it's not always good. Right. You know, mm -hmm. there's recently I lost a friend who, going through it, we had worked together for three years. Point is, though, he became a friend. That's yes. a friend I wouldn't have had. And, 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 and isn't it true, too, because when I was dealing with this with my mother, I, I warned her that once you're diagnosed with cancer, some people stop talking to you because they don't know quite what to say. Thanks. So actually, in a strange way, they step away from you when you need them the most. Did you find that? I found people that I worked with, uh, one of my really good friends, his friend, nothing to do with him. He just stepped out of his life. Didn't oh. do it. I, uh, Probably fear, would it's, 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 you just don't know what to say. What to fear. Yeah. Uh -huh. I forced my friends to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know what, I'm talking. It's kinda, it, I'm not had, going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of had to train them how to talk to me. Yeah. yeah. You know, because they're like, how are you doing? And it's like, you know what, I'm the same person. So, this is just something I'm going through. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, how do we get to be a part of Team Tony? Team Tony. It's uh, teamtony.com, .org. You can find us anywhere online. And are there you certain requirements? Have, I'm sorry, Cal. No, that's fine. Are there certain requirements? You know, you can be either a support person whose family member has gone yes. through it, or an actual cancer survivor. Yes. Who do you need? Who do you need? We need everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, we've gotten to the point where we've been getting a lot of requests, and survivors, fighters, volunteers for our events. Mm -hmm. You know, our website has all the sign-ups. You know, I want to be a survivor. I participant. Mm -hmm. I need some support. We also have a financial grant to our fighters. You know, somebody who's in our program, who's got an expense because of her diagnosis, mm -hmm. okay. whether okay. it's a, a prescription. Mm -hmm. For me, I have received a lot of my treatment at Duke University. You know, they were willing to treat me because I was mm -hmm. in a clinical trial, but I had to get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And if you can't yeah. get to treatment, you can't get treatment. Right. Tony, right. you have something big coming up this weekend. Uh -huh. Tell us about that. Yes. This is our signature fundraiser. Every oh. nonprofit has a fundraiser that helps them out. And I've been involved in the cycling industry, and I thought, you know, what can we make that's a little different? And it's a two-day, 200-mile bike ride. Oh, wow. wow. That's incredible. Where's it going to be? <laughs> it's from Benderson Park ah. to Sebring. We stay overnight in Sebring. Oh, good. And then we ride back. Yeah. I, I don't tell people it's 200 miles. I say it's 
four 25 mile stops <laughs> each, each, each day. You each like day. that? Yeah. I like each that day. outlook. Each day. Yeah. So you've been in the biking industry all this time. Yeah, I was on my bike when I crashed. Wow. And, yeah. You're on your bike Incredible. when you go home today. Yeah, I will be, yes. <laughs> Good for yes. you for turning it around. Yes. Thank you for all you've done. Yeah, right. Thank you for the support. And for more information about this cancer support system, you can go to the Team Tony website. Next, a doctor talks about pain management.